to attack network protocols. You need to understand the basics of computer networking. The more you understand how common networks are built and function, the easier it will be applied to that knowledge to capturing, analyzing, and exploiting new protocols. Through this um, section, I will introduce the basic network concepts and, uh, and that you will encounter every day when you are analyzing network protocols. I will also lay the groundwork for a way to think about the network protocols, making it easier to find previously unknown security uses during your analysis. So let's get started with the, by the network architecture and protocols here. Network. So this is our topic here that uh, you will learn about. So let's start by reviewing some basic networking terminology and asking the fundamental question what is a network so the network is a set of two or more computers connected together to share information and it's a common to refer to each connected device as a node here as you can see here workstation node main from node server node and this is our network here so uh, the so it's common to refer to each connected device as a node on the network to make the description applicable to a wide range of devices here you are uh, seeing a very simple example of our uh, nodes here so this uh, the diagram shows three nodes connected with a common network and each node might have a different operating system or hardware but as long as each node follows a set of rules or a network protocols it can communicate with other nodes on the network so to communicate correctly all the nodes on a network must understand the same network protocols here let's actually i just here so and uh, this is the functions and uh, what the network protocols serves in our network here so uh, the network protocols there's many functions including uh, one of these functions here so this is the maintaining state uh, session state so these protocols typically implement mechanisms to create a new connections and terminate existing connections here we uh, this uh, protocol also does identifying nodes through addressing here so data must be transmitted to correct node on a network so some protocols implement an addressing mechanism to identify specific nodes or groups of nodes and we are also going to control the flow so controlling flow so this is the amount of data transferred across a network is limited of course so the protocols can implement ways of managing data flow to increase throughput and reduce latency and we are also going to be guaranteeing the order of transmitted data so many networks do not guarantee that the order in which the data is sent will match the order in which it is received and a protocol can reorder the data to ensure it's delivered into correct order and we are also going to detecting and correcting errors here so um many networks are not 100 percent reliable right so data can become corrupted and it's important to detect the corruption and ideally correct it and here lastly uh, formatting and encoding data and the data isn't always in a format suitable for transmitting on a network and the protocol can specify ways of encoding data such as in coding English text into binary values.